President Trump is a religious fanatic who will destroy us. Donald Trump has been destroying every institution in Washington, but he blew his first chance to stick a drain pipe in that town's ultimate swamp, it's twisted, sick, self-righteous relationship with religion. And he had started off so well. In case you missed it, Trump opened Thursday's annual national prayer breakfast with the ultimate F you to the God political complex mocking the very notion of faith by calling upon congregants to pray for the ratings of Celebrity Apprentice host Arnold Schwarzenegger. When I ran for president I knew I had to leave the show, Trump said. And they hired a big, big movie star Arnold Schwarzenegger to take my place, and we know how that turned out. Ratings went right down the tubes, it's been a total disaster, and, producer, Mark, Burnett, will never, ever bet against Trump again and I want to just pray for Arnold if we can, for those ratings. For a second it looked like someone finally had the guts to use the national prayer breakfast to call for prayer for something important. Then President Trump ruined it. Instead of continuing this line of attack, oh, and can we also pray for Rosie O'Donnell? So sad what she's become. So sad, Trump switched gears to champion religion and put it at the center of public life. America, he said is a nation of believers. Our happiness as people, he added, is defined by our spiritual success. Freedom, he said, is a gift from God. That kind of religious red meat has always bothered me in the public sphere. Lest we forget, our freedom comes from the Constitution only. It's the document President Trump swore, ironically, on two Bibles, to uphold. But Trump clearly has no intention of doing so as he said on Thursday. Among those freedoms, he added, is the right to worship according to our own beliefs. That is why I will get rid of, and totally destroy, the Johnson Amendment and allow our representatives of faith to speak freely and without fear of retribution. I will do that. Remember. Many in the crowd were still so stunned by the call to pray for the Terminator, that they failed to understand the implication of that sentence. President Trump is calling for the termination of our democracy. The Johnson Amendment, after all, forbids tax-exempt institutions like churches, synagogues, mosques and other 501c3 charities from political campaigning. The rule is clear. A group that is exempt from paying taxes, and whose supporters get tax deductions for donations, can not also advocate for candidates or political causes. This is not a First Amendment issue. It's a tax issue. You can't accept a government subsidy and then protest the government. In other words, the government isn't going to pay for the Catholic Church's free speech. Studies show that the vast majority of Americans support the rule. There is no swamp to drain here. Yet Trump is set on repealing it. So don't be fooled by President Trump's joke about Arnold Schwarzenegger. His prayer breakfast trends are just the latest evidence that we have elected a religious fanatic who cares nothing about the separation of church and state. Remember the parade of six God pushers that offered up prayers at Trump's inauguration? Those words gave way to actions that are tightening the religious noose on our country. Inevitable Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch once sided with an art supply store in its efforts to use its owner's religious faith to avoid its legal responsibility to pay for its employees' contraception. Trump also put creationism believing Jerry Falwell Jr. in charge of a national education panel. And the president is drafting an executive order that will basically allow religious people to claim the legal right to discriminate against other people. The order is called Establishing a Government-Wide Initiative to Respect Religious Freedom. This comes after the president banned Muslim refugees from the Syria civil war, but allowed in Christian refugees, a blatant form of religious fanaticism masquerading as public policy. Yes, Donald Trump, the a-religious, falsely pious lowlife whom the Washington Post once beautifully described as unapologetically crude, has found religion. I don't believe in God, but I pray he helps us all. President